Well, this is Catholic Prophecies for you. Today we're taking prophecies from the book entitled Prophecies for Today by Edward Connor. These books can be obtained from a number of sources. This particular source is Amazon.com, but you can obtain them from Books a Million, Barnes & Noble, or a, num a number of other sources. Um, the prophecies clearly state uh, the following. Part 1. From the eschatological discourse and from other pertinent passages in Scripture, theologians have deduced six signs that must precede the end of the world. Number one, universal preaching of the gospel. Number two, conversion of the Jews. Number three, the return of Enoch and Elias. Number four, a great apostasy. Number five, the reign of Antichrist. And number six, extraordinary disturbances in nature. Well, we begin by stating the following. Here then are the most remarkable passages of Scripture and private revelations that point to the end times. First, the universal preaching of gospel. In regard to the first sign, we have our Lord's words in the eschatological discourse. And this gospel of the kingdoms shall be preached in the whole world for witness to all nations. And then will come the end. This is taken from Matthew 24, verse 14. St. Augustine points out in the episode 199, number 48, that this does not mean that all men will come into the church, but simply that the gospel shall have been preached to all nations and all men given the opportunity to embrace it. He also comments, what does this phrase, then it will come, mean except that it will not come before that time? How long after that time will it come? We do not know. One thing we know for certain is that it will not come sooner. Episode 197, number 4. St. Augustine therefore considered the universal preaching of the gospel a very remote sign of the world's end. Second point is conversion of the Jews. Our Lord spoke many times of the high of the light of faith being taken away from the Jews and given to the Gentiles, especially in the parables of the wedding feast and the vine dressers. In foretelling the fall of Jerusalem, he concluded, for there will be great distress over the land and wrath upon the people, and they will fall by the edge of the sword. They will be led away as captives to the nations, and Jerusalem will be trodden down by the Gentiles until the times of the nations be fulfilled. Take from Luke 21, verses 23-24. Here there is an illusion that the Jews will not return to their homeland until the light of the faith has been offered to the nations. There are many Old Testament prophecies which tell of the Jews losing the favor of God and their homeland, that both will be restored before the end time, or end of time. For the children of Israel shall sit many days without king, and without prince, without sacrifice, and without altar, without ephod, and without the seraphim. And after this, the, ch the children of Israel shall return, and shall seek the Lord their God, and David their king, and they shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the last days. That's from taken from O.C. in the Bible, uh, book 3, uh, verses 4 to 5. Then shall they cry to the Lord, and he will not hear them, and he will hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved wickedly in their devices. Thus saith the Lord God concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth, and preach peace. And if a man give him not something into their mouth, they prepare war against him. Therefore night shall be to you instead of vision, the darkness to you instead of divination. And the sun shall go down upon the prophets, and the day shall be darkened over them. And they shall not be confounded at sea visions, and the diviner shall be confounded, and they shall cover their faces, because there is no answer for, from God. That's taken from Micah, chapter 3, verses 4 through 7. Thus say the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the land of the east, and from the land of going down from the sun, and will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in justice. Take from Zechariah chapter 8, verses 7 through 8. 
And when Jeremiah came hither, he found a hollow cave, and he carried in hither the tabernacle and the ark and the altar of incense, and so stopped the, the door. Then some of them that followed him came up to the mark, the place, but they could not find it. And when Jeremiah proceeded, he blamed them, saying, The place shall be unknown till God gather together the congregation of the people and receive them to mercy. As taken from Second Maccabees, chapter two, verses five through seven. Then he goes on to state, uh, Saint Paul developed this theme. For I would not, brethren, have you ignorant of this mystery, lest you be wise to your own conceits. That a partial blindness only has befallen Israel until the fall. Full number of Gentiles should enter. And thus all Israel should be saved, as it is written, There will come out of Sion the deliverer, and he shall take pity from Jacob, or take in piety from Jacob, and this is my covenant with them, when I shall take away their sins. Taken from Isaiah chapter 59, verses 20, and 27, chapter 27, verses 9. For as you also at one time did not believe in God, but now have obtained mercy, by reason of their, own, of their own belief, so they too have not now believed by reason of mercy shown you, that they too may obtain mercy. Taken from Romans chapter 11, verses 25 through 27, and chapter 30 through 31, uh, excuse me, verses 30 through 31. In private relations, the following was found to Anne Catherine Emmerich, who died in 1824. The Jews shall return to Palestine and become Christians towards the end of the world. She's now St. Anne Catherine Emmerich. Then later, Pope Benedict XV, who died in 1922, stated the following. The return of the Jews to Palestine is the will of God. Hence, they will have to leave many countries. And finally, Peter LeMay, who died in 1931. The Jews are scattered all over the world, but they will not be abandoned. God never forsakes his own. Again, these prophecies taken from the Prophecy for Today, pages 61 through 64, authored by Edward Connor, imprimatur by A.J. Willinger, uh, Dr. Dimitri, Bishop of Monterey, Fresno, published in, from uh, tambooks.com and original copyright 1956. Again, these are the prophecies that are taken of the signs before the end of the world, part one. Thank you for listening. Thank you.